For our next video series, we're going to be talking all about the thyroid. We'll discuss thyroid testing, hyper and hypothyroidism, and much more. So make sure you stay connected with my channel as well as with Dane Garvin so you can stay updated on all of this new educational content. But before we deep dive into those topics, let's first discuss what even is the thyroid gland. Now this is a positive feedback system that first starts in a part of our brain known as the hypothalamus. The hypothalamus is able to sense levels of one of the hormones that's released by the thyroid. And if it's too low, it's going to send a signal to the pituitary gland. The pituitary gland will then send a signal to the thyroid gland, telling it to release more hormones. Now, some of these hormones that can be released by the thyroid gland include calcitonin, which is in an active state, and that helps to regulate calcium levels in our body. But the two main hormones that are released by the thyroid gland are actually known as T3 and T4. T3 is in an active state, but T4 is in an inactive state. However, T4 can be converted to T3 and become active in a variety of different organs inside of our bodies. And these hormones are very critical to help regulate metabolism, growth, and development. But once the levels of circulating T3 in our bodies rise, that's actually gonna send a signal back to the hypothalamus to tell it to shut off that signal that it's sending to the pituitary. So it's gonna cut off the release of those hormones. So you can see that there's a variety of different signals that are involved in this process that help to regulate proper thyroid function. So if you want more information about the thyroid gland itself, make sure to check out the links in the description below.